The new stars is an Alpha 3.22 patch just dropped into the EPTU for Evo Cadi, but this one remains as a potential release candidate over to Wave 1 testers. Okay, so this one, the testing focus is structural salvage, stability testing, procedural FPS recoil, and FPS weapon rebalance. Arena Commander multi crew as well. So with this one, they have a few updates and a few bug fixes here. Under gameplay, it says the full FPS player time to kill and damage change policy pass. I think what they're going to be doing with this is they're going to be increasing the time to kill, um, similar to the um, what we saw in Squadron 42 um, when the player was fighting the NPCs. So we'll have to see how this feels once you get into the game. Also, under weapons and items, the armor shop prices have all been increased across the board, excluding flight suits and undersuits. That's interesting. So they're really going for a real uh, push for FPS, um, a new FPS experience with this. Hopefully, perf server performance is good and it's not as clunky. Moving on, um, it says here under Core Tech, it says AI on for performance optimization that's good hopefully the ai is up to par especially with the new squad of 42 ai it's really good so if the ai is performing well you're gonna have a good experience with this i'd like y'all to note that the channel goal for this year and is 10,000 subscribers that i cannot do without you so if you watch this content regularly do me a favor and subscribe let's move on so so now on the bug fixes the first one here is they fix an issue that is causing players client to crash when swapping salvage modes in the vulture so now this is for the aegis reclaimer the initial retrieval will assign the hangar and then retrieve ship disappeared force a new insurance claim that's a good fix they fix an issue that causes the vulture to continue to salvage when both its arms were broken off next it says the level tram tunnel appears to be solid black after tram leaves that's a good fix. Salvaging a ship using the fracture and disintegration field prevents completion of the mission. The VMS is not allowing players to manually refill internal fuel tanks or fuel pods. So now this is pertaining to all vehicles. They also fix an issue where the close inner thought option on a open armor locker will force the player to be invisible and stuck in an unusable animation inside of the locker door the last one here is the close inner thought option on an open armor locker will force the player to be invisible and stuck in an unusable animation inside the locker door so that's a good fix along with this they have one client crash one server crash a server deadlock before i let you go my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you're interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.